they always wait for winter time to say like hey let's replace the roof that's what they did all last winter was replace the roof now they're doing the siding hmm oh boy we got eel coon skin hat Life in the big city, man. Not quite caveman style, but close enough. Oh, we got cowboys. Someone wearing masks. That's scary. Hey, what do we got here? Mm, it's like bug girl. Oh, got pokeballs. Like there's more people at Palmini's than downtown at 11 o'clock. You think the bars be hopping? Hmm. Going about eight, pretty steady. Eight to tens. I thought like maybe this was the last Ford Taurus in existence, but I was mistaken. There's two of them. There's a Taurus in that. Yep, that's a Taurus. Hmm. A rattle canned bike. Looks like a department store bike. Vistra, Shimano, yeah, that shock looks sketchy. Bet you that's hot. Wonder why they just get. Interesting. Oh, if I'm paying that much more money. These electric car things, gates and shit. Well, it's windy out here. A wee bit windy. Whoosh. Well, here we are. The witching hour. Actually, it might even be the witching hour. Oh, I hear her. Yeah, 11.46. It's almost the witching hour. And yeah, what do we got today? Whoa. Red Hook. Big Ballard. Imperial IPA. Yeah, sure. Yeah, betcha. Brewed by Red Hook. Hmm. 1988, 81. Red Hook Brewery was born in a converted transmission shop in Ballard, 
kickstarting the Seattle craft brewing movement. Mm, yeah, Ballard's like a suburb. Um, Big Ballard Imperial IPA is a tribute to our original stomping grounds. Now the epicenter of Seattle's brewing scene. A long time Red Hook pub favorite, Big Ballard, lives up to its name with bold and aggressive hop profile. Alright. Deep shit, man. Eight point six alcohol. Put these damn things away. We don't need to see what we're doing. Yeah, fruity. High PA. Tastes like grapefruit juice. Kind of dry. No malty, not super malt, no, just head malt. But the hops. So standard IPA, pretty hoppy, lingering hops. So fairly bitter, pretty citrusy. Yeah, if you used a pine cone for a spoon and ate a grapefruit with it. That would sum it up. But yeah, it's not bad. It's drinkable. But yeah, we got a am I even recording I think? Yeah, we're recording. It's hard to tell. It's night. I had to cover the camera up because it's windy as hell. It's not the most optimal filming conditions. <laughs> Hair is blowing in my eye. I'm not going to be able to get this lit for shit. This hair keeps blowing in my eyeball. It's a balmy like 30 something degrees. Now, <sighs> yeah, the colder it gets, the more useless Bic lighters become. I mean, yeah, it's like what? 35 maybe it was like 40 earlier I forget what the clock said downtown and that's downtown in the heat island we're not in the heat island anymore actually we're out in the open on the channel catching the wind from the valleys rushing in or the alpine valleys and they all oh, fall into this like cold sink area. Huh. Well, hopefully George is doing okay, right Duck? Yeah. We haven't been out there for I think it's a month now. Um, The last few weeks, though, uh, I did avoid the situation. Mainly, we had the tweaker thing for the first week. Figure better get that two weeks, and then the bears came down from the highlands because it's getting crappy up there. So we've had like mega bear activity. So. 
There's no reason for a bear to come here. There's nothing for a bear here. All right, Doug. All right. What the hell was I going on about? Yeah, this was a pretty good beer. Um, for an IPA, big Ballard. I gotta leave a sip for the side. Kamai Kame, the SB sailing vessel. Actually, those look like good Jim Bowie's there, though.